here's the hypothetical question that, that you have a child, you have a child, and the child comes to you and says, I'm in love, between the ages of 25 to 30, but you find out uh, that the person is in love with someone of the same sex. What do you say? Is he Jewish? That's the first thing you would say in our house. I mean, it matters. Yeah, wow. Well, what a what a blow, though, for, I think, for me as a parent, especially as a minister. Uh, if, if my son came in and said that, it would be very tough. My son is 25 years old. He's married and, and has a child and another one on the way at the present time. Uh, it would be a very difficult moment. Uh, obviously, in my home, I would have taught my son that, um, that homosexuality and living out a homosexual lifestyle is sin. It's wrong. And yet at the same time, I would want to reach out and love him at a time when he probably himself is hurting a lot. So it would be a lot of mixed emotions for me. Why would he be hurting? He's in love. Oh, but, yeah, but it, he would be in great conflict, number one, with the values of our family, number two, with God's Word that I've taught him all of his life, and he would know that. Uh, and so I think it would put him at a very difficult spot. So I would love him, but yet as I... In Wait, my philosophy, that, love the sinner but hate you the sin. Love him. How no. would you communicate that you well, love him? I would not reject him. I would not turn him away from my home. I would not say you can't be here anymore. I would not say you can't eat at my table anymore. I would still say a you're my son. In your I love eyes, you. Billy, in your eyes, he's a sinner. Yes, he is. He would be. So definitely. you raised a sinner. Well, yes. Does that mean you've I raised a sinner no matter well, what. Aren't we basically <laughs> all raised? Sure. I mean, I raised a sinner. We're all born in iniquity. You know. What would you do? What, what would, would I do guess? if it was my child? I would, of course, have anxiety. Uh, I'd have anxiety because it is difficult to be a gay person in our society because of the conflict that's going but on. But it's difficult to be a single parent. It's it difficult is. To, I mean, it is. It, I mean, it's. It, there are difficulties in life, and this would be this would be a difficulty. But is it a reason, you know, for me to act out of my anxiety in my relationship, or is it a reason? for me to try to understand and to listen. The first thing I would want to, tell me about it. I'd want to know, I'd want to hear, I'd want to listen. What is this that has captured you? And you know, and I'm wondering, would I have known before? I mean, you know, your question didn't set us up for that to say that there was any idea that the parent would have known earlier. But I'd want to talk to the it. child, yeah. <laughs> I'd want to, to find out, and because the last thing I'd want to do is break my relationship with my okay. child. Yeah. And that's more important to me when they're coming to me telling me something that maybe I don't want to hear or something I do want to hear is to listen. How does this alter your relationship with your child? Yeah. Does it now alter to the point no, where... No, I don't, I don't think it would alter my relationship Are except to say mm -hmm. to him, son, you know I don't agree with your lifestyle, so he would now be in a place where he would not be under my approval, but I would still be loving him and accepting him. Acceptance is not always approval, and I think that's important. Now, for him, I think it would feel very different to know that he did not have his father's approval for his lifestyle. Mm -hmm. But I would want him to still know that I accept him as a person and I love him and I'm hanging on to him. In mm -hmm. fact, I engage more in this, in this moment in his life to hang on to my son and try to, what I feel like, rescue him from something that's very wrong. How do you deal with, how do you communicate the idea of love? Mm -hmm. Whether you agree with it or not, mm -hmm. how do you communicate that to your, your child? This is your child. What, what will you do in that situation? How do you communicate so that your child goes away knowing, I'm loved? First of all, you need to be in a place where you really are loving them. Mm -hmm. You are really feeling that love for them. And then I think the conversation. Uh, as I said, I would start there to tell me about this, to care about them, to validate their feelings, whether you agree with their feelings or not. To me, that says love, that, that it's an accepting love, that you're a real person, you've got these real feelings, and that you can feel from me that I'm not just giving you this face, uh, but that I'm being well, real you know, with you. What?